Don't trip. Don't trip. Don't trip. Don't even trip. We got you. What's up, y'all? This is Don't Trip Podcast. Oh, shoot. My thing was loud as loud. Hold on. Let me lower this. I wish I could turn my shit up. Yeah, my joint. There we go. Now I'm on your level, though. So, like, when I edit it, it won't. Oh, I might be too quiet. You know what? I'll just edit it. Edit it's too loud. Anyway, <laughs> what's up, y'all? <laughs> Welcome to Don't Trip Podcast. Y'all with your main hosts, David and Justice. What's uh, good? Jay. Yep, yep, yep. What's good? So, uh, Welcome. If you're new, thank you for topping in. Um, this is Advice at No Price. We are Don't Trip. We got you. Um, we are a fan-oriented show. We get questions from our fans. We um, answer them to the best of our abilities. And um, we just honestly try to give you all a little fun spin on things, try to change it up a little bit from the normal, boring podcast that we just be talking, talking. Um, we, we were just two real guys trying to give advice or give our input on scenarios. Um, we have some fun guest stars. We got fun segments. Um, today we have uh, we recently did a, a segment where we had a caller tap in with us, and that went really well. It was cool to hear their uh, side side of the story and different things that they had. So today's caller is going to tell us about a little bit of toxicity. We know y'all like a little toxicity. So whatever story they got about their most toxic events or whatever, that's what we're going to do. Hell but, yeah! Yes, sir. And we let's got get toxic. Video. Let's get toxic is crazy. Actually, that's ooh, ooh, that might be the title of the episode. I'm going to cut to you. Let's get toxic. Ugh. But, uh, and then we got the regular don't question. We got the regular don't trip questions for y'all today. So we got a couple of questions from the fans. If you have any questions that you want to submit, go ahead, send them in on the Instagram DMs, go follow us on Instagram, TikTok, all that stuff. Yeah. And I seen a, a video. Some dude sent us a voice message on Instagram. Yeah. In the DMs. He was like, uh, I don't know how to send a question in, but like, I really, I really fuck with your shit, and I wanna, yeah. I wanna send in the question. So the best way to do it, guys, is to DM us on Instagram. That's the best way. Don't email us. We are gonna see it, but we are not gonna answer it. Uh, <laughs> and don't comment. In, I mean, you can comment in the videos, I guess, but like, yeah. send it to the DMs. Like, send it to the DMs. Yeah. Comment the, I, I've been going through them joints actually because they have some good questions in there. So that's actually where a lot of these questions are from, but I can't do that every time. Right. So, uh, that's hard know. work. You really got to dig. Yeah, 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 actually. So, because some of these questions is fine. Okay, I'll tell you. Some of them right. But just All send right. them in the DMs. We'll see exactly. it. Exactly. Uh, let's not start with that one. Right. <laughs> <laughs> we'll start without it. I'll hey, we're getting toxic. What you mean? Yeah, we're getting toxic. You're right. You're right. You're right. Let's right. get toxic. First question of the day is, there's this girl I've been talking to, and she's talking to other guys, so I decided to sleep with her best friend. What do I do if she finds out? Oh, yes. Trip. We got Don't you. Trip. This yeah. is the perfect question the for perfect question. let's get toxic. Okay. Drop your, drop your knowledge, bro. What you got? What should he do? So what, what, is he, what is he asking for again? What is he? He said, there's this girl I've been talking to, and she's talking to other guys, so I decided to sleep with her best friend. What do uh, I do if she finds out? Um. <laughs> deny. Deny. <laughs> deny. Deny. Oh lord! Oh lord! Oh lord! Oh lord! Help us, please. please but Lord. it depends on how she finds out. Like, how is she finding mm-hmm. out? Like from the friend that she slept with, or that yeah, he yeah. slept with. Then it's kind of like, ah, like, uh, fuck. Yeah. Ain't shit. Sure like, can really do about it. So he, he's just trying to trying to save face. I mean. Lying is one way to go about it, but the friend going like she either gonna believe you or the friend, like that's so it's a fifty. She most likely shot, gonna believe the friend. Yeah, 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 that's true. So I mean, you got a fifty fifty shot is better than zero percent. I guess. Yeah, especially um, girls, they be taking their friend side off anything. Like, off it don't anything. matter. It don't matter if they know they wrong. If they friends like, no, nah, you right. They they gonna be like, yeah, I am right. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute, I am right. That's crazy. Yeah, uh, but. Bro, that was that's actually probably the most toxic thing he could have done because you was just being petty. He didn't even right. say she was sleeping with other girls. He was he just said I she was talking to other guys and I got he must have got mad. Right. It's like let me go sleep with my best friend. And then he was also But also is it, it it's not your girlfriend. It's not your girlfriend. So you can't that's like true. we that's can't true. claim girls that aren't ours. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like you can't get mad and do petty shit like that just because She's talking to other dudes, like exactly. so. What she probably bad, like that's what comes with <laughs> being had comes like with being with a bad girl. Is they gonna yeah, have yeah. options? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so have plenty of options. So you took that pettiness and you just sacrificed your relationship because you felt like being petty. Right. So that's kind of on you to kind of just go with what you got now and like you got it. Honestly, honestly, it might be best to tell her. I'm not gonna cap to you. 
because if she find out in the future, that's gonna ruin. Like if y'all actually start some, it might that's best true. tell her if you're actually trying to trying to pursue something in the future. That's Cause, true. Cause really, yeah. like the whole time y'all all could be hanging out and shit, nobody exactly. knows but the two of you. Like that's exactly that's not it. Nah, and, and then one, the crazy part is that yeah, the one time the friend get yeah. jealous that y'all started talking. That She's one like, time. <laughs> Mm. That that That's one game, drunken man. night, that friend's gonna be like, "So, uh, I gotta tell you something. Oh, <laughs> I gotta tell yeah. you something you may not know about." We gotta me. talk. We gotta talk. <laughs> you may not know about yet. Yeah. So, hey, that's a little. To- he was he was being on his toxic stuff though. It was it was toxic type of man. Toxic yeah. time. Ooh, that's a good one too. I don't know. It gets more worse than that. Like that's yeah. super toxic. Yeah, actually. But let's shoot, let's find out actually. I'm gonna tell this caller to call in right now. Let's see what All they right. got. Let's see what so, they got. We've been having callers. Make sure you keep out for the stories. Um, we're posting different scenarios. We're gonna actually start call- asking callers questions. So like we could ask them this, like have them talk, like instead of them asking us questions, we're gonna yeah. flip it on them. All and, right. Um we can see how that go because I think that'll open up a different avenue, different opportunity for you guys to share as well. But That's we're gonna see what this caller way. has. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the question on Instagram was, uh, what is your most toxic, t- toxic thing you've dealt with? It doesn't have to be, I don't think, them exactly that they did. It might have been something that happened to them. Okay. So we're going to see if this caller has, like, a good story. Uh, I'm trying to think uh, back. Think- oh, here we go. Yeah. Oh, Reggie. Yo, what's up? <laughs> what's happening? <laughs> welcome, welcome, welcome to Don't Your Podcast. How you doing, bro? I'm doing good. How are your boys doing? We're doing great, man. We're good, uh, man. What's your name, bro? Reggie. Reggie. All right, Reggie. What's up, man? So we talked about it on Instagram. What is your most toxic scenario situation that you've been in, whether it was you or doing it to another person? All right. I got a story for y'all. Yeah. It's kind of both. I got it done to me and then I did it to her. But uh, <laughs> so started off, this is this is me and my, my little lady. We're going on our two years. Uh, we were celebrating our anniversary. So I'm like, oh, let me do something nice for her. Fly her out to Malibu, pay for the Airbnb, pay for all that we do the nobu we do the beach all that stuff and then we're in the airbnb chilling and i'm looking through her phone because she's expecting a call from her mom or something and nosy me i'm scrolling through and i see some unsaved number i'm like all right who's this start reading the text come to find out she's been cheating on me for three months three months is crazy Mm. so i'm like all right she come out the bath i got the phone opened up to the messages just sitting on the bed she's like (laughs) gets to crying I'll apologize. I'm so sorry. You're not sorry. You cheated, honey. You sorry you got caught. Like, anyways, I changed my flight to leave earlier. I don't know where she stayed because I canceled the Airbnb. Ooh. So, I left a little early. Come back home. Obviously, I'm a little hurt, but so I hop on Tinder to find me some easy butt, right? Hi. And then, lo and behold, guess who's on there? Her mama. Anyways, there's no way, bro. My mama's single, ready to mingle, so I do my due diligence. And they're not really that close because she's grown, she's out the house. Her mom's single, so I get to my little flirting. And um, I'm sure y'all boys know where this is gone, but um, <laughs> I crack cheeks with her mama. And it was it was a little toxic, but I felt good about it. We don't talk anymore, but I think I got my little two cents in. Wow. Whoa. There's that's no way. Wild. That's actually wild. This did Dang the it. mom know that y'all was dating? Nah, because she kept us private. Kept that's why the private. other boy didn't know she was in a relationship either. Oh wow. Do you, do you think do you think her she found out that you cracked her mom or whatever? Oh, I told her. Oh. How did she respond? Yep. How did she respond to that? Oh, she was hurt, but it's not like I cared about it. <laughs> I recorded it too, but I was it's not like I was gonna send her the recording, because that would have been that would have been really messy, but you know. You recorded. No. Wait, you recorded what? What do you think I recorded? Oh my gosh! The whole clapback and everything. <laughs> yeah. Bro, what? <laughs> I'm I'm too sick right now. Though. This is the most toxic thing I ever heard in my life. This is funny. <laughs> this is crazy Cause though. If you, because if you do me wrong, I'm gonna do you wrong two times worse. And we wasn't together, so it's not like I was in the wrong. I guess that's wow. one way to look at it. That's one. That's a good, okay, respectable. Hey, Reggie. Well, we we appreciate you hopping on to tell us that story. I think that's gonna be that's 
that's definitely gonna top this episode. The title for this episode is what, Jay? Let's let's, let's get, toxic. get toxic. Oh my god, I love that. Oh, and love you, that. my Stay man. Up toxic kings. Stay, my Stay up, toxic kings. Stay up, toxic kings. Stay up, toxic kings. No one's the hot boy summer. Nah, it's don't put me in the same category as your ass. That's not. <laughs> Reggie, no you're way. wild. Reggie, you're wild, bro. Hey, I respect I respect the game, Reggie. Though I respect the game. She did you dirty. You, you took you you took it up a level though. You took it up. A whole another level, a whole octave. Take this, ladies, if you're listening. Learn, take this as a lesson to never fuck with a man named Reggie, cause he gonna fuck him off. <laughs> <laughs> that I will do. That I will. All right. Well, sorry, I didn't mean to imitate your accent, Reggie. But uh, <laughs> you're you from Reggie. I'm from Texas. Oh wow. <laughs> <laughs> uh, don't worry about that. You'll do some searching. You're, you're all gonna find out who I was messing with. Her mama. I don't need all that out there. Oh, you're right. You're my bad, Reggie. Hey, Texas, Texas is a here. big state. Oh, my mama. Exactly. Exactly. Oh, my mama. That's a big state. Hey, Reggie. Well, we appreciate you hopping on, man. You have a great day. This episode me. gonna all drop right. soon, so tap in with it. All right, I will. Don't trip. Yeah. All right, gotcha. yeah. <laughs> This nigga Ain't is hilarious, no bro. No way, bruh. <laughs> Throw in the bag. That was it don't crazy. get more toxic than that. There's oh no way. My First, gosh. he canceled the Airbnb. Uh-huh. No, 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 no. Rewind. He left the messages out for she, she could see that he was he seen it. Yeah. On purposes. He didn't have to say nothing, just had the phone just laid out waiting mm. for her. Mm. Then canceled the Airbnb. Left her ass. That's crazy. Actually, if I'm in that wow. situation, are you, if you're in that situation, are you like I'm, leaving her out to dry or like you at least getting her back home type shit? Nah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't get her back home. I wouldn't cancel the Airbnb though. Like, I feel like we, if we took a trip, she already got a flight home, you feel me? Right. But I would, I don't think I'd cancel it. It's Airbnb most likely though. together though. Yeah, but I changed my flight. She didn't change her flight. Like she probably got the same ticket. Oh, okay. You know I mean? so, so, like, you just, like, trying to hop on an earlier job yeah, by yourself. No, I'm not going to cap it. If that was me in that situation, she would have never seen me again. Like, I would dip. Like, actually, she, I'd give her the chance to talk to her, like, after a week or something like that, if she, she hasn't explained it or whatever. Yeah. But I would need to cool down, knowing myself. So, I would have, if, if I, like, had 100%, 1,000% truth, like, if I read them text messages and it was obvious, like, it was yesterday, this happened, you sent a picture, this happened, y'all mm-hmm. was talking about stuff that happened. Like, if I had 100% truth and I had, like, no no doubts about it, like, even, that's what I'm saying, you shouldn't be, prank, like, all those prank channels and stuff like that, I would have been out of there. Like, I would have just literally grabbed my stuff while she was in the shower, left, she would have come back to nobody. So. Damn, like, like empty room. Exactly. And she would Wonder where me. your ass is at. Exactly. I would be out. I'd be out that night. Nah, just to I, at least like, gotta, to to I at least got to tell her, like, when she get out the shower, listen, like, I found this shit on your phone. Yeah. I'm going to set, remove, remove myself because I am extremely mad. Yeah, yeah. And we'll talk down the road. <laughs> but I'm leaving now. I respect that. I can rock with that as well. <laughs> yeah. I, I can rock with that as well. But you wouldn't I catch that. I don't Airbnb. think I just, like, have her come out the shower and nobody's there. <laughs> she gonna be like, this nigga get murdered? <laughs> Where's this nigga hey, at? <laughs> she gonna call her other dude, apparently. That's what he gonna Oh, my God. Mm-hmm. Oh, my God. But the mama? Bro. The mama is crazy. That's wild. I didn't even know Actually, moms use Tinder. He said he filmed it. And he filmed it. He filmed it. He showed her the film in game footage. That's like, disrespectful. Like you know, you know, you know, you never want to see like your parents doing that stuff. Like that's your parents, bro. You don't, you don't need to see that, right? <laughs> she saw her parent that. doing it. I ain't even thinking that. <laughs> exactly. She saw her parent doing it with her boyfriend. With ex-boyfriend. her ex. She got the worst of both worlds, my man. Bro, that's so toxic. I don't know. I don't even say that's toxic. That's like damaging. <laughs> like, how that's do you bounce damaging. back from that? Like, you don't. You don't. That's it's trauma for the rest of your life. I don't even know if, if me personally, if I could date another person. Like, <laughs> I mean, but think about it. It's self inflicted trauma, though. Like, true. you did that to yourself. Like nah, you, she ain't do all that. Like, nah, she did that she to ain't herself. Fuck her, like, fuck <laughs> your mama. I'm sending nah, you a video. <laughs> she did that to herself. You saw what you reap, family. Like, you should have been honest. So you're saying she deserved it? I don't think. I don't think. 
I think she deserved to get broken up with. I don't think she deserved to see her mom again <laughs> beat down by <laughs> her ex. You're right. You're right. I don't think that she deserved it, but like he didn't deserve to get cheated on either. Like that's like true. he took. I think he just took it up to a, a notch because he he was hurt, so he was trying to one up her, which right. he did, and that was by kind of far. like the best way to do it. exactly by far. It's not but, like she um, accidentally sent him a video of her getting fucked. Like yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah he took it up. <laughs> He took it up a notch. Like, like she's definitely scarred for that. And it's just, it's hard, like, in that moment to not want to hurt someone to feel the same hurt that you're feeling, you know? Like, yeah. or want them to hurt more than you because they did it first, you know? Yeah. You got to be a grown person for that. And Reggie's obviously, uh, Reggie's still growing. Oh, my but God. But he got his lick, so I'm sure he's happy. Had the whole trip planned and everything. Oh, 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 oh. He had it, he had it down. But, hey. I think I'd that's be more mad about the... I'd be more mad about the money that I spent. Oh, yeah. But then you can't really think like that, though. Because then, like, even in, like, all your old relationships, you're like, dang, I spent a bag. You feel me? Like, yeah. I could have saved, like, thousands of dollars. Like, I've, I'm mad about that shit to this day. <laughs> to this day. <laughs> to this day. <laughs> if I didn't have that relationship and spend that money in that relationship, you know how much bread I had? You better be stacking that bread for real, for real. Bread. It'd be expensive. Okay. <laughs> Hey, thousands for real. It's like a whole having having a child, like raising the someone name. else, <laughs> being with somebody else is literally two of you. Like you got to pay for two people. It is. Hey, but it is what it is, man. But that's our caller for today. If you want to be a caller, make sure you tap it on Instagram story. We are gonna keep doing this, uh, cause y'all got some funny stories, man. You guys, y'all, y'all got some funny stories. Man. That's crazy. But actually, wow. All right. The next question is: uh, At what point in the talking, hanging out stage? Should you stop talking to other people or do you keep talking around? No trip. Mm, we got you. Ooh. Yeah. Um. Uh, I think as a dude, I would cut off the girls like right before I asked the other girl to be my girlfriend. Okay. Okay. I feel like that's as a girl. As a girl. Don't ooh. be. Don't. Make sure you're being fair now. I am. I am. I think the right answer is as soon as you become a girlfriend, you need to cut them off. Okay. Um. I think the answer I want to say is <laughs> you should have been cut them off. Come on. <laughs> you be a truthful. You be a truthful. Yeah. I think it depends, like, on what type of what what you're looking for. Like, I think relationships are like a leap of faith, bro. Like, you really. Like, once you think that this person could be the person for you, that's when you cut them off, even if you're mm. not about to, like, ask them yet, mm. just to prove your loyalty and, like, commitment to what can happen in the future. You feel me? Yeah. So, yeah, I feel you. I feel like, yeah, I, also, I feel like I'm also not the type to, like, put all my eggs, all in, eggs one in one basket, basket. like, right yeah. off the bat. Because yeah. there's been so many girls that I've talked to, like, been in the talking stage with. But like I knew it wasn't gonna go any further. Okay. So I'm saying like once once you know that like you actually really like this girl, like you have genuine feelings and you want to be with her, then I feel like you should like make the proper like take the proper steps, yeah. cutting off your extra baggage, even if you haven't asked her to be your girlfriend yet. That's fine. I don't I think like- you should wait until you guys are boyfriend and girlfriend, cause then it's kind of sus. Cause bit. it's like you post you like once you f- first post them and then be like oh the girls that see it will be like oh like you got a girl now huh yeah yeah type shit what happened well you was just talking to me yesterday right like, mm, mm, mm. <laughs> seriously that's a recipe for disaster but no nah, I feel like you have to like you just said it's not when you are about to ask them at at some point you do have to put all your eggs in one basket and kind of mm-hmm. just jump and then see how it goes because think about it. If they put all their eggs in one basket and then find out you're talking to someone else, they're not gonna be happy about that. Like if, if I was, right. if I switched, if I that, if I cut off everybody and then I found out, oh, I wasn't ready, or like, oh, I'm still wearing my options, I'm getting everybody back. Like I'm not, right. like I'm mad that I cut all my people off. You know? Yeah, because I feel I feel like it's nothing. It, you don't really sit down and be like, so you cutting off your hoes? Type. Should I cut off my uh, hoes? Girls do. Girls definitely do. <laughs> Really? Th- you've had that? Yes, bro. Yes, I've definitely had girls come up to me and they're like, so, like, are you still texting? Are you still talking to other people? Are you still blah, 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 blah? And I'm like, 
yeah. Um, so you can do with that as you want. Like, I feel like that's that's them digging their hole and they're like not, I mean, they're not digging a hole, but like, yeah. if I'm spending time with you, I'm trying to get to know you. You feel me? Like, yeah. there's no, there's a reason I'm spending time with you. It might not be, you might not be the number one option. You might not be like what I've decided on right now, but if you're getting some of my time, then like, that's an option. And then, like I just said, if when I'm ready or whenever you're ready, you take that, I stopped recording for a second. You <sighs> take that second, you take that step. And then um, you kind of have to just jump into it. You feel me? Yeah, it is. It is like a leap of faith type of thing. Yeah. Because even if they tell you, like, I've cut off all my hoes, like, you got to. Yeah, you got to really trust them. But the worst thing to do, like, at what point do you think it becomes cheating? So, like, you haven't cut them off. You haven't cut them off yet. But, like, you're still, like, he just asked me to be my boyfriend. Or to, Yeah. And or to be my girlfriend, yeah, yeah or what, yeah. whatever, nigga. She just yeah, yeah. they just asked, okay. Yeah, yeah. So like you're a few days in, but you still have your hoes. So they're still like Snapchatting you, <laughs> texting you. Type you think shit. there should be a, a buffer period? Yeah, like, but like, <laughs> honestly, honestly, like, when yeah. does it become cheating? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel that. I feel that. I think that if you jump, like, if if you ask him to be your girlfriend, boyfriend, like, out of whim, and like you didn't really like think about it, then like. Obviously, those girls are still going to text you tomorrow and the right. next day and the next day. Like, you can't right. help that unless you, like, just post on your story, I got a girlfriend, everyone leave me alone. Like, but no one really does that. <laughs> so, um, it, I, it, in that case, maybe. But if you, like, planned it out and, like, you know this and y'all have been talking consecutively and then y'all start dating and then the next day, like, someone hits you up, like, even though y'all have already been exclusive or y'all have already been, like, committed to each other, then that's kind of sketchy. So, I don't think there's a buffer period in that one. Yeah, so I don't know, I, bro. Well, because buffer period. I, I, I'm not until the, you said it. I didn't think about a buffer period, but I'm thinking at the about same a time. I'm not telling my hoes this is past tense. I'm not telling them I have a girlfriend. I have to stop talking to you. I just uh-huh. stop talking to them. Uh huh. Right. Like. Yeah, that's true. They don't. Nobody really, especially when you get a girlfriend. Like no one else matters. Like I don't care if like. Right. I don't need to explain to you why I'm not talking to you no more. Like, yeah, yeah, I just have a girlfriend. Like, you can get the hint. So, it's like, go ahead, go ahead. They don't know, so they're gonna hit me unless until I make it public or like post something. Yeah, there has there has has to to be be a buffer period because, like, at it's just like there has to be a buffer period in which not not a buffer period in which you can wild out, a buffer period in which like you have to understand that uh, that person hasn't like it's not known to the world yet. You know? Right. Yeah, yeah. Not everyone's going to know that I'm in a relationship. So uh-huh. if somebody does hit me up that I was talking to in the past, it's not because I'm still fucking with them. It's just because they don't know. Okay. Okay. Type of shit. Buffer period. How long is a buffer period? I, I don't know. That's what I'm saying. Like, <laughs> how long should a person have? Like, I feel like. Also, I don't feel person. like you need to post somebody to, like, validate your relationship. Yep. And I don't think that you need to like announce it to the world. Um, so I don't know. I feel like I don't know, right? <laughs> I get what you're saying. I understand what you're saying. That's I don't hard. think That's there's hard. a there's wait, a wait. set period of time. Nah, there's not. There's not. I think not. I'm not gonna cap to you, even if like like me personally, I don't I don't post anything. Like if I if mm-hmm. I was like just started, nobody would know. And like, so right. the buffer period might be like down the road. Like if, if my girl's on my phone or whatever, and then she sees a text from like big booty Becky or whatever, like, or like, um, luncheous love. I'm not, no more names. It's on my phone. Um, <laughs> and then they're like, uh, they're like, who is this? And I'm like, hold up. Let me reply. Like, be like, Hey, back up. Like, I get, I, I think that's where you get the buffer period. Like, hold up. Sorry. I got a girl now. Like I'm not doing all right. this type thing. That's a good answer. That's a yeah, good point. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. If they do hit you up, then you need to be like, hey, like, I do have a girlfriend. I can't fuck yeah, with yeah. you this way no more type, type shit. Buffer period, buffer period. Okay. All right. But, respectable. So, but, but you're not obligated. I don't think you're obligated to personally reach out to the out. person and be like, oh. no, no, no. If they hit you back, then I feel like you're obligated to respond to them and say you have a girlfriend. Type. Or leave them on red. Or just leave or, or just don't. Yeah. Or just leave it alone in general. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
I feel that. But feel if, that. You, if you're going to respond, it has to be, I got a girlfriend or I got okay. a boyfriend now. Okay. Okay. If it's anything other than that, then it's like, you're dragging it on. You're dragging it on. Yeah. Buffer, you're trying to drag the buffer for you a little bit. <laughs> hey. Hey. I think we just invented a new thing because the buffer period. I've never heard that before. I've never but really heard that before either. It's a it's valid. It's a valid argument. When yeah. are you supposed to stop talking to your hoes? When are you supposed to cut them off? Justice, we gotta stop calling them H O E S. Yeah. Is that how you spell it? Your side your side, pieces. your side pieces. There you go. Um, just so we can, <laughs> if we go make this a thing, we gotta make sure it's everywhere viable. You feel me? Right. Um, but. That's that's another thing because like 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 we were just talking about the buffer period. Does the buffer period start when you're in a talking stage? You feel me? Like, mm-hmm. do do I get like I'm still talking? I I was just talking to this person when I dating yet, but you just saw her pop up in my phone, right? Like, give me give me some time. Like I right. I, I I just I'm I'm don't know who I'm committed to, or I know I'm committed to you, but she don't know that yet. You're not my girlfriend. I didn't post you. I didn't like let right. people know I got a girl. Like it's just. It's just, I think that that brings back to the main thing we always talk about with communication. And yeah. you just got to trust that person's, uh, that person if you actually want to trust them. Cause yeah. I'm not Relationships. Cap to you. Yeah. Go I'm ahead. To you. This, uh, this buffer period stuff could go both ways. I'm not going to count to you. Mm-hmm. You can use this one. Like, I, I need a buffer period. As much, stuff. as much as dudes don't want to admit it, like, the girls are talking to dudes just like you talking to girls. Facts. So, you can't get mad at them for a shit you ain't done. <laughs> hey, hey, they still gonna do it, but right. Uh, the same stuff you doing, people. It's whoever gets caught first. That's the person that gets you mad. <laughs> like girls will get pissed as well though, because whoever gets caught first, you're like, <laughs> like so I literally true. knew somebody. I literally knew somebody, and like he was mad because this girl was stepping out on him. And like did all this stuff and like she she did him dirty like mad dirty like like he was calling her like and then the same night they hang up she was sleeping with another guy like type stuff Ooh. and like um he was just like he came and he was mad he was like bro I, like she hated him. like i was like i was like aren't you talking to like two other people bro <laughs> he was like yeah but she got caught first i was like ain't no way <laughs> ain't no way <laughs> boy whoever gets caught first is the guilty party oh my mama the guilty That's party funny. So, yeah so all right hey, so just be careful for the people who are listening, let's yep. lay out like an ideal, like what would be ideal? Ideal what? So talking stage, buffer zone, like what's, <sighs> the, what's, what's ideal? So I'm in the talking stage with a girl. Yep. I'm also talking to Keisha Letitia and, and, and LaShonda. Yeah. Okay. But I really want this girl. I know I do. Okay. Okay. So what if, what do I do? How do I go about it? What's you my know buffer you want zone? This girl? What's my buffer zone? Your buffer zone? Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Damn. This is a hard question. It's a good question though. This so I want to ask her to be my girlfriend tomorrow. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. So how should I go about this? All right. So first things first, you realize what you wanted. You need to like make that decision. That's what you want, right? Yeah. Because after this, there's no, there's no Keisha, Tisha, and Lashonda, right? So you can ask her, and you're right. You don't owe them anything, right? You don't owe them anything. You don't. I mean, it. Ah, now I'm changing it up. You might <laughs> owe them something, Jay. Because if you're talking Do to these you girls know? seriously, and they put you, you're their number one, and they're waiting for you to date them, and they've even like maybe one of them, let's say Lashonda asked you. Um, what are we, um, like, are you waiting? I'm waiting for you and let you know that she like wants a relationship with you. I think you owe it to that girl to be like, Hey, I don't see what you, I see what somebody else type. It might hurt. Okay. But you can't, I don't think, especially if, if it's like a lover girl type. If, if you've had that conversation where she voices that to you, cause me personally, I'm not out here telling multiple girls. I like them. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm just you talking just, to you. You just talk. I mean, Okay, but you don't like we're dudes. You don't have to tell girls you like them. They just take make the assumption you like them because you're flirting with them. You shoot. All right, well that's not like that's not my problem. You made the that's assumption. Not, I didn't. Tell that is you. your problem, Jay. No, that it's is your not. Problem. I did not you, tell you I like you. So don't <laughs> assume that I did. Like that I do. Okay. Okay. That's, that's what, we say that all the time. Don't make assumptions. Like yes, I never true. said I like you. 
that's okay. I respect it. I respect it. I respect yeah. it. Yeah. Okay. So don't, that's, that's one problem. She was making assumptions just because, and people make assumptions. That's why, that's why I agree with you though, because people make assumptions the wrong way too. Mm-hmm. Like just because we're nice dudes or we smile the wrong way or we even smile in general. Oh no, nah, he was feeling me. I saw him with the blah, 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 blah. What? Right. Like, I don't know you like that. I don't like you like that at all. So yeah. I understand the, I understand the, the assumption thing. Um, okay. So, so with ask- these, with these, with all of them, I've just established, uh, we're just hooking up. Okay. Okay. That's, that's your establishment. Yep. Okay. Then you ask, uh, old girl to be your girlfriend. And then, then one of the girls hits you up the following night. Yeah. Um, buffer period for sure. hundred yep. percent buffer period. You didn't tell her, but at that point you gotta be like, nah, we done with this. I'm sorry. Like keep it pushing tight. And then, uh, like, I feel like oh, this buffer period might not work because I feel like it's infinite, my guy. Like, I do. I also, I was just thinking that I was like, yeah. this shit could go on for months, honestly. Actually, like, actually, because there's been periods of time where I wouldn't talk to a girl for like a few months, not because I was in a relationship, just because, and then she would hit me up out the blue, and then like boom, a bang, few bang. months later, yeah. You know, so that 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 I think that buffer period because you're in a relationship, it like doesn't change because you didn't let that girl know. Like you, you didn't say, "Hey, I'm with a girlfriend. Don't don't ever text me again." Like right. You just, you just let it go. Um. So I think that buffer period has to apply for guys and girls. Like, yes. if you see someone and they they specifically explain to you, "Nah, like this is what it is. We used to talk, whatever." Um. But it's dead. Like, like you can you can you can you can even look if you want. It's dead. Like I since I asked you to be my significant other or we started dating. This has been dead. Right. Like, this so is the, the first period. time they hit me exactly. up type. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you just have to be completely transparent in a hope that your partner trusts you. Yeah. There's nothing I mean, more you could do about it. Yeah, we all got, like, we all got history. We all got stuff in the past that, like, we, we did. You can't really change that. Facts. Um, if it's something you hid from your partner, I think that's a whole different thing. Like, right. if, if the night, um, like the night got away from you one time and then like you h- hooked up with Shorty, right? And then like a month or two later, like the, she's like, hey, who's this in your phone? Be like, oh, that's some girl I used to hook up with. Like all that stuff. Um, that buffer period happened because because you you left it open, you feel me? Like, right. Because y'all have still been talking, y'all have still been whatever. So mm-hmm. you don't get as much leeway with that. There's no buffer period there. Right. But if it's just a simple... You can't get mad at that. You feel me? You, what do you what are you what are you getting mad at? The a person texting me? <laughs> like, uh, it has to be a clear cut, like I told them I have a girlfriend. Like yeah, they hit yeah. me up, I told them I have a girlfriend. Or yeah. I can't talk to them no more. Like it has to be clear. Right, or cool. or you're cheating. <laughs> or or that. Bro, did you see the the um uh, everyone loved the the short you did? Um uh, Bro, oh like, yeah, mm-hmm. about the DMs. <laughs> yeah, that was that was hilarious. <laughs> that was actually mad funny. I was like, nah, he's a bitch. Like, yeah. Yes, that was actually mad. Funny. Editing those is like mad. It, it's it's dope. It's dope people. I love no the cap, little dolphin sound. The oh yeah, the the SpongeBob. Yeah, that's funny <laughs> as fuck. I only do it for like extreme ones though. Like I feel like we can. It's fine if people curse. Like that's your thing. But like like even guest stars and stuff. But like when you open with "What's up, mother." Oh <laughs> all right let's get that one let's get that one no i but appreciate hey. that i appreciate it yes sir yes sir you know you know but um i think that's it for this episode I've been going i gotta study no cap yeah we only hit like two questions too we was going it's just you know don't be too toxic like reggie yeah uh, lesson number one and yeah. then lesson number two you know be be communicative yeah and and talk to your partner you should give them a buffer zone you should receive your own buffer zone. All right, this is a new thing. Okay, mm-hmm. buffer zone. So you hear it, buffer heard zone. it here first on Don't Trip. Buffer zone is the transition between the talking stage and uh, making her your girlfriend or him your boyfriend, uh-huh. and cutting off your hoes. Uh-huh. Or I think we can add to the buffer pieces. zone. Okay, I think we can add to the buffer zone. We should talk about that. We we're not having the. Like we may, we'll explain this again in another episode, but I think there's other aspects to the buffer zone. You feel me? There I feel is. Like there's the like, buffer zone is deep. Like 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 talking to your family, taking you to certain dinners, 
like telling mm. people about you like how there's there's a whole mm. there's a whole bunch making of it people. public yeah hey let me break that down on my thing right <laughs> That's a big one. Making it public's a big one because a lot of people are like, we've been dating for like two weeks and he hasn't said I'm his girlfriend. It's like, chill the fuck out. Let this nigga, <laughs> let this nigga acclimate. Let that acclimate is crazy. This man used a school word. It's crazy. Oh, what man. The hell? He ain't hey, posted like me on Instagram joke. yet. And it's mm-hmm. been two weeks. I'm on mama. Relax. Well, Relax. Do you, have you guys had the conversation in that he doesn't feel like he needs to validate his Ooh. relationship? Ooh. <laughs> Jay spitting. Jay, yeah. hey, it's, it's, episode's done. Hold it, Jay. Stay safe for next time. I got you. I got you. Hey, fool. Hey, we appreciate y'all for tapping in, though. This was a dope episode. Thanks, Reggie, for the story. Thank you, uh, Fuck all, it, the Reggie. <laughs> all the fans that's been supporting. Um, go check us out. We got big moves coming, more episodes coming. But we appreciate the support. Follow us on the stuff. Follow uh, me and Jay if you want to. And make sure you do not trip. We got you. <laughs>